turn your back on me. Is that a challenge? You either die a hero, or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. My folks are nosy. They have specials. Nosy specials. Why does a bee make honey? You ain't a bee. Why do you give a fuck? J Electronica on Twitter announced that he's officially done with his long-awaited debut album called A Written Testimony. The announcement came on February 7th. Many were excited to find out Jay-Z will be featured on most of the tracks. Would this be a sequel to Watch the Throne that we never got from Jay-Z and Kanye West? Warning, the Federal Communications Commission has determined the following content to be emotionally harmful. Snowflakes should not view this content under any circumstances, even if supervised by a G.I. Joe, Navy SEALs, Army vet, or someone with good common sense. The views and opinions expressed, including the depictions of persons of color, corrupt politicians, white people, white people with or without a tan, haters who have yet to brush their teeth typing angrily in the comment section with hot breath syndrome, do not reflect any official policy or position of the U.S. government. This program contains graphic language, dark comedy, unique intelligence, creativity, a high credit score, and high blood pressure when triggered. This program has also been accused of racism, violence, misogyny, misogyny, feminism, Nittawism, defacement of celebrities, and of course, being a bully. Welcome to Thought Crimes. When Watch the Throne came out in 2011, Jay-Z was on top of the world, a reigning champ pretty high in hip-hop. The double-headed dragon Jay-Z and Kanye West were ruling the rap game with no contenders. Fast forward to a written testimony and you'll see that the landscape in hip-hop has drastically changed. Kanye West and Jay-Z's relationship has deteriorated. J. Cole has been standoffish. Rihanna equated Jay-Z as being a symbol on Twitter by siding with the harsh criticisms of Sean King. And many people had not been happy with Jay-Z's decision on taking the NFL job at the expense of Colin Kaepernick, even if he needed the money. But Jay-Z still has a couple of cards to play. Enter J. Electronica. J. Electronica was the chosen one in 2014 when he was co-signed by both Jay-Z and Nas. He was hailed as a GOAT for a short moment in time before putting out an album that was unheard of. And it seems as if J. Electronica and Jay-Z may need each other more than ever before. But many would say that Jay-Z needs J. Electronica more to get him out of the current rut in a hip-hop war he is in with Drake, who is coming after the throne once again. Everyone knows that Jay-Z is currently bleeding, and this is why everyone will be anticipating a lyrically deadly Jay-Z on a written testimony. Will Jay-Z and Jay Electronica take shots at Drake and the naysayers that are waiting for the fall off of Jay-Z? This will be an opportunity for Jay-Z to state his claim as to why he is a better hip-hop boss than Drake or anyone else who is eyeing the throne. When we are talking about rulers in fields of competition, whether sports or music, we have seen crowns pass to the next in line, and we have also seen crowns snatch. We have seen MJ tutor a young Kobe on the court. We have also seen LBJ receive guidance from both Kobe and Dwayne Wade. We have witnessed a young Coco defeat veteran Venus Williams, and Jay-Z has been a master of his craft for decades. He has sat on the throne as one of the few rap kings for years. And yet Drake focuses more on becoming a mogul at this stage of his career. He has been able to reposition himself to force his hand as a possible ruler over rap once again. As it appears to the public, Jay-Z has undergone a public transformation of his rap image with his 444 campaign. He largely abandoned all of the stereotypes rappers are known for. For some people, however, with their critiques, they felt it was long overdue. With an image that appeared to many for years to be impenetrable, Jay-Z has survived the likes of Ether, criticisms about his infamous Barclays deal, and even critically panned albums. Oddly enough, the only way Jay-Z has been truly harmed was by himself. 
The brokering of the NFL deal snapped the spell of the 444 effect created by Jay-Z. And while Drake has maintained the course by embracing the different trends in contemporary rap, without the preaching that some felt from Jay-Z, Drake has been able to cement himself as an inspiration for younger rappers looking for mainstream appeal. With Jay Electronica's written testimony, it may serve as a perfect lane for Jay-Z to brag rap in the esoteric space lane without appearing to relapse back to his big pimp in 99 problem days. Jay-Z is said to be featured on more than seven tracks on the album, and Jay-Z has been known to use many of his guest features to take shots at people murmuring about him in the industry. Damn ho, stun on them haters. Sorry, Mrs. Drizzy, for so much y'all talk. Silly me, rapping about shit that I really bought. And as Drake continues to dominate as the top corporate rapper in the music industry, Jay-Z may attempt to shift that narrative by using Jay Electronica's platform and spotlight. Next time on Thought Crimes, the legend of Troy Mitchell, also known as Smack, how one man's ambition and vision redefined and reinvigorated a fate in art form, and how battle rap has now been elevated to a global phenomenon, and how many rappers once aspired to distance themselves from the classic art of verbal sparring, and now, with the long overdue success of Smack, many A-list rappers and athletes and other celebrities are now looking to show their love for battle rap. Don't forget to subscribe to Thought Crimes and also our website, www.thoughtcrimesworld.com and our Patreon. Peace out, everyone.